Hello, God's beautiful butterflies. I am Allie B. Um, it's good to see you again. I see you looking well. You're looking beautiful. You're looking restored and refreshed and renewed. I speak in an existence, even if you don't feel it in the name of Jesus. Um, I'm just excited about this because um, this is my um, seasonal podcast with WYTV7, Christian Broadcast Network. And um, this is my last episode of the season. Um, don't know what God's taking us next. Don't know what God's going to do. I'm just believing in the next. I'm just, I'm praying and believing him and just letting him guide me. Psalms 32, 8, I read it. Um, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. And I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I believe in that word. So, um, I'm going to let God instruct and counsel me and show me the way because I've done it my way before. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, again, <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to thank everyone for all the support, all the love, tuning in, um, everybody behind the scenes. Um, I didn't get permission to say you guys' names, but you know who you are. Um, the sacrifices um, of prayer, love, um, um, just, just, I'm just in awe of God. So I just want to thank God for each and every one of you um, that listened, that tuned in, whether you're a believer or unbeliever, you're still God's. I believe it by faith. Um, I just thank you for being um, a part of each other's worlds at this point in time in our lives. You know, we cross paths, we cross journeys. So it's truly a blessing that you um, believe the God in me. Because in order for me to get here, I believe the God in somebody else. So um, that's what we're here to do. We're here to show other people our lights. And um, we're here to show other people the freedom in Christ and what he did for us. Because, you know, I, you know, again, I am totally transparent, been out there, did that. I could still go back and dabble in a little bit, to be honest. We can still go back in and dabble in it a little bit <laughs> if we wanted to just a little bit because that line is very narrow. So um, if you're going to be about this life, be about this life, you know, and um, that's really true and honest. And God is just, he's amazing. He's beautiful. He's wonderful. He's absolution. He's um, completion of our lives. So um, speaking on that of God, um, he's so good, y'all. He's just so good. And just thank everyone for hand and feeding us. My husband, I love you. My family for the sacrifice. Um, just support. I could just keep going on and on and on, but I really honestly have to give God the glory for all of this, for all of you, um, for everything, because he is literally the head in the center of our lives and I can do nothing apart from him. So I just want you to know that I would have not done life of a butterfly unless my husband pushed me um, with his prayers and with his love um, and just stepping out on faith and, and saying, God, okay, you want me to do it. I trust you. So um, that's how Life of Butterfly got started. This is not something I would have done on my own. Believe me, I've been like, uh, I was like, okay, God. <laughs> so um, the word God brought to me was, uh, it's so it's so God, um, John 8, 36, which is the basis of life of a butterfly, the, um, the epitome of that um, scripture that I um, resonate off of, that I fly off of, that I flow in. And John 8, 36 says, so if the sun sets you free, you are truly free indeed. You, you are truly free. And that's the NLT version. So so if the sun sets you free, you are truly free indeed. Bottom line. And I know it's so simple. And I was like, God, that's, what do you want me to tell them? It, it's literally, it's a literally a freedom that you can never describe yourself unless you try it. I went um, back to Charleston and I went to visit some of my peoples back there. Shout out to my peoples in Charleston. I went to go visit them and we sat around and we talked and we laughed and we, you know, loved on each other. But one of my brothers um, who's there, I'm not going to say his name. I didn't get your permission, but you know who you are. I love you, Bubba. But he um, spoke a word into me and my spiritual sister, you know, when, when we were there. And he says, um, you know, if we just do something. And I was like, wow. You know, he was like, yeah, we just need to do something. Step out on faith and do something. When was the last time we believed in God or you believed in God for something? Like, when was the last time 
You know, you were like, okay, God, I'm going to believe you for this. Or, or believers, last time you allow God to speak into you and give you something fresh and something new, excuse me. Um, and then stepping out and saying, okay, God, I'm going to go that way. I believe you for that. That's where I'm going. Or unbelievers that's out there in the world that's already been there, out there, done that. Like I said, we already done that. When are you going to believe God for something else new? Because you can keep going that way if you want to. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. The world is a cycle, and that's what happens. It's just a complete cycle. But when are you going to believe God for something? If you want to believe him for something, then today I'm asking you to believe him for John 836. I did. So if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed, period. When you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that he died, he died on Calvary and died and was risen three days later, with, took all of your sin and your washed clean, standing here whole, just like you are, as you are right now, you're free. Just what you're doing, whatever you're doing right now, yeah, that too, you're free from that. Yeah, what you did last night, yes, guess what? You, you're free from that too. Oh, what you're thinking about doing right now, that thought, oh, that thought that just went and you just try to shove it out, you're free from that too. God, you know what I'm saying? Because God already knows. Like, only thing he, he's asking you to do is believe. That's it. That's it. You can believe when you ride, get on a bus, you believe the bus driver to take you. You can believe when you get in your car and crank it up that it's going to crank that you, you believe your gas dodge that says I'm full and I'm empty. We can believe all the simple things in life, these simplicity things, but when are we going to believe in something bigger than ourselves so we can have an accountability to something larger than us? Because there are places in us that don't want accountability. Like I want to, I want to play in it. You know, I want to clap my hands and I want to praise them over here, but I, I don't know. I get it. I, I did that too. Yeah, this one. I did that too been there, done that. There's nothing that you're going through that as a believer of any of us have not been through, or God will send you somebody that has been through it to help you through it. There's nothing impossible for God. So when are we going to believe that we're free? We talk about freedom so much. We talk about freedom in this world so nonchalantly, but do you know what it means to truly be free? Really, do you know what it means to be free in the mind, free of depression, free of poverty, free of all the all these things? God says you're already free of all that. I just need you to believe in me for something. Like do something. Step out on faith on something. Believe that I'm God. Believe me for that. Believe me for something so I can show you how mighty I am in your life. God's like, I want to fan those old flames that you think that, that I'm just going through the motions. God says, no, I got better for that. Like, I'm bigger than that. I am God of heaven and earth. The universe, I spoke it into existence. And whatever you need, I'll speak it into existence. And I have in my word. In John 8, 36, it says you're free. So guess what? You are free of all of that. You're free to believe in me. God says, you're free to believe that I'm God. Believe that I did the impossible. You can believe in, we believe in everything else in this world. We believe in everything else in this world. But we cannot simply believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. He said, try me in this and see. <laughs> try me. Try, try, try me in a word. Try me somewhere in your life. Give me that burden that you can't sleep at night, that keeps having you toss and turn, that sickness, that place. Don't just call it for what it is and just live in it. God says, no, speak into it. Speak life into it and watch what I'll do with it. I brought that on you so I can heal you. I brought him in your life so I can show you you're worth more. I brought her in your life so I can pull something out of you greater than what you see in yourself. I put you in that negative account balance so I can show you my greatness, so I can give you an abundance, so you can know that it was nobody but me. There's nothing else you can do at this point in your life but believe in me. And that's where we are in this point in time where you, we've done it all. We, You have literally done it all. Like literally, sin just goes around in a cycle and it just changes faces. <laughs> it's still the same thing. 
the people the people just changes faces and it just kind of everything just kind of goes on and you're just kind of doing the same thing you know you new a new alcohol beverage come out we drink that you have a good time you know a new cigarette comes out it could be it's a, it's a different package it's still the same cigarettes you know alcohol you still put a label on it it's still the same alcohol whatever it is club we can change clubs around all day they're still the same clubs still the same things going on try something new try something different why not I, I, and believe me, it's better, it's easier said than done. I get it. Because um, when I gave my life to Christ, I was like, okay, uh, I didn't try. I was at a point in my life where I had tried everything else, done it all. I had tried to get love in all the wrong places. I had um, tried this. I tried that. I tried that. And I still was unfulfilled. I needed living water in my life, like a Samaritan woman at the well. Give me some of that. I was thirsty for God. I was thirsty for Christ. And some of you right now are in a place where you have tried everything, and I get it, and I feel you, but you just got to get to a place where it's like, God, for you I live, for you I die. I'm just here. I'm, I'm going to do your will. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know how you want me to do it. I'm just going to show up, God, and believe that you're going to show up. Believe that somebody is on the other side of this camera that needs to be set free, if it's one. Because he left the 99 for one, if it's only one of you. That's how much love that's inside of me that I have, because I know I was that one that was lost in sin. I was, I was hurt. I was, excuse me. I was that girl. I know I'm, I caught myself the weeping. <laughs> I was such a weeper, but so emotional. But I was that girl because, and, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I perfectly understand. But before I leave, before I close out here on WYTV7 Christian Broadcast Network, I just want to say that when my friend told me about my one of my spiritual sisters, <laughs> She called me up and said, you know what, Allie, God spoke this and said, you should do this. And I was like, okay, <laughs> all right. So I was like, okay, God. So I just started looking up on my phone and I started looking up something like, God, where do you want me to go? He directed me and I, and brought me to WYTV7 the same day he spoke the word. And I was saying it happens like that for everybody. I'm just saying, I just tried him in his word. I mean, I had nothing to lose either. It lets me know where God wants us in our lives. Like, do something like go somewhere um love on somebody um go down to a local church just sit in the back what do try something new in your life so you don't get stale god's like i don't want you to get stale do something let's do it together <laughs> just believe just be believe in something He's called out to his children, believe in me, believe in me that I am he. I am the way, the truth, and life. Just believe it. Just believe the impossible. Just, just for a little while, believe it. Let me show you how much I love you because what's happening is that people are getting emotional feels and not having an experience with Christ. God is saying, I want to give you an experience so you know it's me. That's what's going to come. To those that believe, the step out on faith, faith the size of a mustard seed. I mean, like minute. Okay, God, I done tried it all. I believe in you. Let's do it, Jesus. Me and you. Me and you. And that's what it is to be free. Me and you, God. Wherever, whatever you want me to do, wherever you want me to go. And is it easy? No, it's not easy. It sounds good. <laughs> believe me, it's not easy. But if you're going to be about it, be about it. And remember, it's a process. It's okay. Be easy on yourself, for his yoke is easy and his burden is light. He is an amazing, just God. And he already knows. He gets it. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're free. Because God says when the son sets free, is already free indeed. And he's already died on the cross for it. You're already free. You just got to walk it out. Amen. I love y'all so much. Thank you again for all your love and support. I will see you again soon. Um, I know this is just the beginning for it all. Um, I just know God has some 
amazing things in store and I'm just excited to be a part of to be used by him I just try I'm just trying to this is my try so watch me <laughs> and um thank you again for everyone for all your love and support right here on WYTV7 Christian Broadcast Network for this season I close with John 836 when the sun sets free is free indeed you've been set free to live free to love free to be free so fly free enjoy life god ain't done with us yet we're still here amen Mwah. i love you guys <laughs>